Hi, it's Adam. This is part two, and let's get it started. Fake. Hey, is that Palpatine? Or did they just get the same guy to play two parts? Yeah, Palpatine. What the heck? Yeah, invasion. That's what I think of when my phone goes out, when my phone cuts out, that I'm being invaded. You know, not like there's a loose wire or interference or broken telephone line or slow connection. Yeah, invasion. That one fits. We'll go with that. Honey, you just got told by two guys that you're being invaded. You just lost your communications apparently because there is an invasion coming. You're going to have to go to war because you're being invaded. What are you just going to sit there and wait for them? More crappy CGI. Look how far apart the ships are. I mean, how how could they get off the ships and then find each other without being caught when they're so far away from each other? Then they land on open ground and there's patrols going by. There's patrols everywhere. There's droids everywhere. Where exactly did they hide on these ships that they were able to get out without being seen? If we're down here, we'll find them. So they're on high alert. So you think if somebody sees them, they would sound the alarm. Now, to, if these vehicles are anything like any other vehicle ever made, they would have a front, some kind of front field of view, whether it be a camera or a, or like a you know like a windshield. So why don't they see Kai Jin running right in front of them? Hello? You don't see him? Maybe it's a rear view camera. Oh, uh, no. Maybe they just weren't paying attention. Okay, so Obi-Wan did get caught, and there's two droids following him. Since they're on high alert, they would have definitely contacted their superiors, and there would be whole, a whole army of droids following them, because they just t told them that if they're down here, we'll find them. They had orders to, you know, find them. And they got Obi-Wan got caught, so where are all the other droids that should be following them? Oh, man, this makes me mad. And then they just stand around, like. Now notice how Jar Jar is like an inch shorter, an inch or two shorter than uh, Qui Gon Jinn. City. 
Say he's shorter. Jar Jar is shorter, I mean. Now he's taller. Oh, and now Jar Jar is a foot taller than both of them. Okay, they enter, enter the water here. Why don't they use those breathing things for the poison gas, huh? They swim for four seconds and they see the city. Four seconds. There's no way that you can't see that from the surface. I mean, they've barely broken the surface of the water and they already see the city. This cheap computer graphic city. Now you'll notice that Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon's faces and hair are wet, like somebody spritzed them with a water bottle, but their clothing is completely dry. See, like right there, Obi-Wan's face is dripping, but his clothing is dry. Didn't Jar Jar just say how happy he was to be back home? And here's another thing I hate. The leader looks nothing like the other people. I mean, this is all supposed to be the same race, right? Did they just have this frog guy become the leader? He's green, for one thing. He doesn't look anything like the other guys. And he's the leader? Ah, okay, I give up. Well, that's it. That's the first 15 minutes of the movie. That's the, this is the end of uh, part two. And if you guys like it, I'll make more. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.